Hey guys, for the next two weeks we're cooking Burkina Faso, which means that we are headed on to Africa. So we're gonna be making fat rice today, which is a rice dish made with tomatoes and onions, um, red pepper powder, it's all kind of mixed into one big pot, served with a lot of oil, and it's really yummy, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So to start off this recipe, we're gonna be doing something that we actually do a lot on this YouTube channel, um, but I had never done this before. We're gonna be putting some onions and tomatoes in the blender. So I have four tomatoes that I've quartered, and I'm just gonna put these in the blender, and then, oh, <laughs> I just legit dropped a quarter of a tomato on the ground. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna do three and three quarters of a tomato in this blender. Um, and then one half of a cooking onion and two peeled, obviously, cloves of garlic. And then we're just gonna put the lid on here and we're gonna blend it all up together until it's really smooth because we're gonna use the liquid from this to help cook the rice. So I'm gonna turn this on. All right, it looks pretty juicy. Looks good, I think this is what we're gonna use to make the rice now. The people of Burkina Faso have a national symbol of a white stallion because they love horses and horseback riding so much. They're actually called the Cowboys of West Africa very frequently because of their love of horses and horseback riding. And they have a famous saying that goes like this, a horse is your wife, your car, your colleague, and your best friend. Okay, so we're moving on over to the stove. So in this big pot, and make sure you get a big pot because this fluffs up quite a bit and gets to be pretty large. So make sure you have a large pot. I'm going to put in a third cup of olive oil and I'm just gonna let that heat up over medium high heat for one second, maybe a little longer than one second. And then once that's heated up, I'm gonna put in this blend of my three and three quarters tomatoes and half of an onion. All right. So we'll put this in here and let it cook for about five minutes, stirring it occasionally, just to make sure that it heats up a little bit, the flavors of that garlic start to get developed, and then we'll add in the rest. So your tomato juice is gonna start to bubble up a little bit and that's when you know it's time to add in the next ingredients. So we're gonna put in four cups of chicken stock, which is this whole container. So just buy one of these containers and you can put in the whole thing. One six ounce can of tomato paste. Two teaspoons of salt a half tablespoon of ground red pepper, a little sprinkling of parsley, and I don't really have an exact measurement on this, but just put like a little, little shake in there just for some flavor. And then I have two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I kind of trimmed a little bit of the fat off and cut them into cubes. And I'm gonna put that in here as well and try to put it all in here without it splashing me. Okay. And now I'll mix all of this to combine the seasonings together with the parsley and the chicken. And this is on a medium high heat right now and I'm gonna let it cook until it starts to boil and then we're gonna put in the last ingredient, which is the most important ingredient, which is the rice. Okay, so once that chicken stock that you put on the stove starts to come to a boil, then you're gonna add in the rice. So I have two and a half cups of long grain white rice and that's what I'm gonna put in here. And then you're gonna let it cook for about 25 to 30-ish minutes. You're gonna look in the pot once those 25 or 30 minutes is up and you're gonna think, it still looks really watery, but if you put your spatula in there and you actually kind of scoop it around a little bit, um, there's a lot more substance in there than you think. So uh, make sure to give it a stir before you decide if you need to cook it for longer. So now that the rice is in here, I'm gonna put a lid on it and then I'm gonna let it sit for, like I said, 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll come back and check it. All right, so our rice cooked for about 30 minutes. I mixed it up and then I let it sit for just a couple of minutes and kind of let all that extra liquid soak into the rice. So it is nice and beautifully done now. I'm going to take a bite and try it. Mm. It's just a little bit spicy from that 
Red pepper, a lot of you probably won't think it's spicy at all. I think it's just a tiny bit of flavor, a tiny bit of spice with that ground red pepper in there. I love the chicken in it too. And this is a really good quick dish to make at home for dinner ready in 30 minutes and it's delicious. So thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching me make it. If you want the written recipe, it'll be on my blog. It's gonna be at www.foreignfork.com slash fat rice. All right, thanks for stopping by and I will see you next week for a hibiscus tea recipe. So if you all are really liking these videos and you wanna see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.